Hey, what's up fellow YouTubers, fellow Toy Nuts and Toy Collectors, this is Starscream 1988 and today I will be showing you a super, super long do or um, toy review of Transformers Prime and this is the first edition bulkhead. Now this originally came out um, back last year in uh, I want to say December of 2011. Um, I saw them on the shelf and I passed on them. I never knew that they were going to get pulled. But because of great fan reaction um, and just, you know, Hasbro trying to make some more money, <laughs> they decided to re-release it. And you know what? Good for them. Good for us. We get another version of it. Um, I waited this long. I didn't have to pay the overmarked um, price point that I know of. Nothing has changed. It's exactly the same thing. But I could be wrong. Um, and if I am, that's cool. You know, somebody can school me out there. So again, back of the package. It is a nice package. It's pretty funky looking. Um... This is a nice picture of him there, um, there, and again I will be showing you a comparison. There is the um, the Optimus that actually is the number one in this series. This is be this is number two. There's a picture of the gang right there. Um, bottom of the package lets you know that this is actually a display um, case to hold the figure, which is pretty nice. And then I'll probably save it. I don't know if I'll use it, but I'll save it. Here's the side of the package there. All right. The other side of the package and then here's the front of the toys so unlike the um, prime version of the same toy there's no bio and there's no tech data um, but that's cool it is what it is again a lot of people like this version more they say this is a lot better um, and this is the guy that actually was is selling for a lot of money on on ebay to this day um, he's in the 45 50 dollar range sometimes now you can now people know that the prices come down and again they are available because i just actually picked this up a couple days before christmas um but yeah so i mean that's that's cool so for those of you that spent more on it that's fine i mean if you wanted to have it first so it is what it is i don't um i don't judge i don't care um i just i personally like to save money so so i'm glad that i waited cool so let's um crack them open Okay, and here he is out of package. So, um, he again an, another another cool bulkhead. If if you are a fan, um, I gotta say though, I mean, he is a pain, a pain in the ass to transform. Um, it's just so much. Um, I honestly, I didn't use the the instruction manual, so again, maybe I'm just a glutton for punishment <laughs> in terms of that aspect. But I just find it fun. Um, again, it's it's like my Rubik's cube, um, but. Um, yeah, I mean, it is it is cool. The representation is a lot better. Um, you know, the whole split chest and his, you know, how his lights can move down and, you know, his doors go into the front of the, his, the, the piece there. Um, I mean, it's it's nice. But, I mean, it's it's not kid-friendly. So, at the end of the day, it's not a kid-friendly toy. Um, and this isn't marketed for adult collectors. It might be now um, because they are have skyrocketed in price points in terms of all the first editions. But for those of you that do know may not know i mean they've been re-released um so like i stated in the beginning of the video you know this came out over a year ago you know this time of the year um last christmas um and for whatever reason fan reaction demanded them and they're back and again you know why not hasbro likes to make a nickel whenever they can so um they're they're all back and big bad toys are selling them and stuff like that and they have them for reasonable prices too and stuff so um, for those of you that are looking at eBay, you know, don't don't go out and spend fifty, sixty dollars on this when you can honestly go to Toys R Us and pick them up for twenty five. Um, other than that, though, I mean, I, just like the uh, R.I.D. Bulkhead, um, he actually has a little bit better articulation for the fact that he doesn't have those shoulder pads. Um, his I know I didn't do this for the R.I.D., but his knees bend a little bit there, his legs, and he's a little bit nicer because he has ratchets, as you can hear there. So that's pretty cool. You can go in and out. So he can do a split and whatever or not, which is kind of really odd looking, <laughs> but he can. Um, his hands have this real nice kind of touch there. It kind of gives a little bit more girth, which is pretty cool. Um, his mace is actually connected to his hand here instead. So, you know, you can just flip that on either side and he would hold it just like the cartoon. Oops, there it is. Um, so that, that's a cool touch. But again, I do like the clear one a little bit more and I do like the light feature. Do I like MechTech more? No, it doesn't mean I like MechTech more. I just, for this particular figure, I just kind of like that feature a little bit more. Again, he has a lot more um, girth, wider shoulders, so he is a lot bigger. 
Uh, not a lot bigger, but he is definitely bigger than the RID. And speaking of the RID, there he is. So as you can see, you can still see him behind you because he's just a little bit taller. But now you take this guy, bring this guy forward, put him there, and he pretty much, oops, other than falling, he disappears. Um, he's just so much more wider. It's, it's crazy how much bigger this guy is. Um, in terms of his face, um, I know I don't have a light shining on him, but he does have light piping there. Um, I don't know how good it is, but he does have it. Um, so does the RID. Um, but I think the RID does a little bit better job because it's a bigger window. So and that's something, again, I didn't really try. Um, so I do apologize. But look at his head scope right there. As you can see. Is the RID. Again, I do like the, the two-piece a little bit better. But his crest is a little bit nicer. It seems to be a little bit bigger and deeper. Um, and he has, you know, baby blues, just like Ben Grimm from the Fantastic Four. So it makes me wonder uh, that the person that, you know, designed him, was he a fan of the Fantastic Four and Ben Grimm? Who knows? We'll never find, we'll never know, I guess. But that's what he looks like. He does look like the thing in terms of his head and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, so he's really, you know, he's, he's pretty cool. Um, I do recommend him for, obviously, for com the completest in you. Um, and for fans that are really into detail, yes, he's a little bit nicer. But if you're buying this for a kid, again, can't stress enough, this is definitely not kid friendly. Um, it's just way too complicated. And if anything, they might end up breaking the back here. Because this is a pain in the butt right there also, that piece right there. It almost seems like they didn't have to have it, but they did include it just so he has a back. And that I can commend them for, but at the same time, it's just a pain. Um, so yeah, so... Um, let me just, um, I guess, transform him into his truck mode, and uh, we can compare him again with R.I.D. Okay, and we're back for the second and last time. So here he is in his vehicle mode. Um, he is nice. He's definitely a better representation than the R.I.D. version, but I just don't, you know, he's really, really pain in the ass to confuse was I able to do it? yeah absolutely but it took me almost twice as long um i didn't look at the instruction manual because i hate looking at instru instruction manuals because they're written really bad sometimes so i rather just kind of it's kind of fun to kind of like mess with it kind of like rubik's cube was the first time you know we we got it back in the 80s um so that's kind of like my thing so maybe i'm just uh um i don't know <laughs> maybe i just like um breaking my head um, but, uh, but yeah, so I just kind of free, you know, freestyled it and eventually I did get it. Um, some of the pieces were a little funky. You always got to make sure you pull this down. Um, again, if you want to see a comprehensive review on this, I would definitely check out like, you know, Bow Matrix or Mitch Santona or Piog or some of those other guys as you know, they did this probably a year ago. Um, so I'm just giving you again, my take, my comparison on what I think of them. Um. It is nice. It's solid. So I, I will give it that. But again, I just I hate the whole split front and the split back. And it always it makes transformations really really difficult. So if you're looking for something a little bit easier, I would recommend him instead. Um, yes, he's not as TV accurate as this guy here, but he's just a lot easier to um, transform, especially if you're buying this for your kid. Um, so if you're watching this, I, I really I, I gotta be honest. I mean, this is just the way to go. Same price point. Um, some people say, no, he's definitely more worth it because he's more TV accurate. Yes, I agree, but here you're paying for the battery and the whole, you know, the, the whole gimmick thing, which collectors hate, but again, these are made for kids. Uh, nowhere in the box does it say for adult collectors on any one of these. So if you want an adult collectible toy, you know, definitely stick to the uh, masterpieces as I like to also purchase. Um, so if you want a real, um, collectible masterpiece is the way to go. Obviously they don't have a bulkhead version of this, but you know, I'm just saying. So don't complain about it. It's for kids. Uh, but yeah, so I mean, my, my last take on it again, uh, really cool paint apps, a lot more TV accurate. Um, and that's pretty much it. But very, very confusing transformation. Um, there's a lot of breaking apart. Um, it's just it's crazy. So um, but yeah, I mean, if you're a completist like me, you're still going to get it. Um, and I tend to actually like bulk it a lot, too. Uh, he's actually one of my favorites in the show, other than obviously Optimus Prime. So um, I had to get him, and I'm, I'm, I'm glad I did. So again, guys, thank you so much for watching my videos. Please rate, subscribe, share, comment, thumbs up if you like my video. Again, guys, I do appreciate it. See you guys later. Peace.